Hello there and welcome to my video series on learning to program. This is the first video that I put together to teach you something about how to work with a Windows application, build a new project in Visual Studio, and I happen to be using Visual Studio Professional 2005, but if you have the Express Edition it won't matter. You've got all the same features that we're going to be using. In this first video I'd just like to get you accustomed to a little um, uh, a little bit around Visual Studio and try to understand your way around it and I'd like us to build one little simple project and my goal is to make sure you know how to save your project so you know how to find your stuff when you come back and ideally you'd be able to copy your project to give it to a friend or bundle it up and give it to me. One of the goals in the visual programming series that I teach is to first of all teach you how to be a programmer secondly I have to teach you something about Visual Basic and then thirdly I need to teach you some things around Visual Studio the nice thing about this new version is that you can build Windows apps web apps you can build applications for your phone for your pocket PC there's all kinds of very very cool things you can do but of course the first thing you have to do is kinda of get used to the program and so we're just gonna take a look at parts of it in this video series and as you get better at programming you'll learn more pieces and parts. The first thing I'd like to show you though is once you start the program it probably will look something like this. If it comes up with other things just close out those windows for right now so that your program looks like this. Let me show you how to make a new application. If you go up to the file menu and you choose uh, from this menu you've really got a couple options at the top. You'll notice it says a new project or it says a new website. For Windows apps, you want to pick New Project. If you were going to build a new web application, you would pick Website. So we're going to pick New Project, and then it comes up with this little box. And if you install just Visual Basic, then you're not going to have some of these other features. But if you install the Professional Edition or you installed Visual C Sharp like I did here, you'll see that if I click on this, I can build a C Sharp Windows application or I can build one in Visual Basic. What I'd like you to do is to click on Visual Basic and click on Windows and then over here you'll see that you can build a lot of different kinds of projects but we're just going to do a straight Windows application so make sure this is clicked and I'm going to change the name of this although you can always change it later it's it's easier to do it now and I'm just going to say intro to programming part one. Now don't be afraid to put spaces in this name here. That's not going to hurt anything. And then I'm just going to click OK and I want you to see what happens. Very quickly, Visual Studio will create for us some files over here on the right side. This is called the Solution Explorer and this is where you're going to find all your stuff. You're going to find music files, video files, pictures, anything that you want to add to your project will all show up over in this little box on the right on the main screen, on the development screen over here, you'll find that it added a form for us. Now I want to I want to show you something real fast. I'm going to push the F5 key just to run this little thing. And I want to, I want to show you that just by starting a new project, Visual Studio has created for us this new window. And it looks like any other window than in any other program except of course it doesn't have anything on it because we haven't put anything on it. But I want you to notice its functionality. I can expand it, I can minimize it, I can bring it back, I can make it normal size, I can resize it. This is this in programming uh, terminology is called a form and that's what we're going to call it from now on. This is a Windows form or a Win form, but it to, to most users who use a computer they're just going to see it as a window and that of course is what it is. So I'm going to close this and I want to go back in here and just show you a couple things. Two very important aspects of Visual Studio has to do with how you save your project, where you save it, and how you get it back. Because I have so much um, concern that students will build their project, they spend a lot of time on it, and then they don't save it correctly, and then they lose their stuff. Or, when they're trying to turn it in for a grade, they don't they don't know how to to uh, give it to me or give it to their friends and then then again they lose all their lose all their hard work so let me just show you real quickly this is how I want you to save your project <clears throat> my advice is the very first time you create this you come up here and I would I would recommend that you use these little disks over here that say save all my advice is to not come over here and start using the save things. Now if, you, if you're careful and you click Save All here, that works fine, but please don't use these other things because they'll really get you off track. What I recommend you do, just to make sure you don't 
hurt yourself here is to click on save all now the very first time it comes up it's going to ask where do you want to save this and I want to show you where Visual Studio saves them on your computer by default and how we save them at SCC by default in the classroom but th that doesn't mean you can't put your stuff somewhere else on your own computer I do that all the time but let me just show you the default first of all it comes up and says well what do you want to call this project and it noticed it noticed that what I called it before and it just kept the name but now I want to show you where I want to put this, and I'm going to click on Browse, and I'm going to go to um, uh, my computer for a minute. I'm going to double-click on C, and I'm going to go to um, My Documents. Now, if I open this up, if I come down here, the the computers that you have at school will have a um, have a, a logo over here for my documents. If you click on my documents, it's over here under Visual Studio 05. You see that? And if you double click on that, when you installed Visual Studio, it actually put in a folder here called Projects. And you notice I have a whole mess of them in here. But that's where it normally will keep your stuff. Now, if you're in the classroom, it's going to look a little different than this. It's going to say B208 or B104. Uh, it may have VB105, it may have something, whatever you logged in as, but it'll say Visual Studio 5 and Projects at the end. If you're at home and you want to store it somewhere else, then all you have to do is browse to that folder. What might be useful for you is to create a brand new folder for the class and put all your projects in there. That, that's a nice way to do it. So you could, of course, browse, and I could go to my computer, and I could go to Drive D, and I can say I'm going to make a new folder. Come up here, just make a new folder. And let's say it's for the VB105 class. And I can do that. I can say VB105 projects. And it's going to make a new folder for me. And you'll notice that's where it's going to go. All right. In fact, I'll just save it there. Now, one more important thing. Please, please, please make sure that this is checked. It's supposed to be but make sure it's checked because it'll create a new folder for your solution and that will be really important on how you get things back so let me show you how to do this All right. so at school if you want to save them in the default place that's fine if you want to save them to your USB drive that's even better keep your stuff uh, safe All right. and once I hit save it's going to create a new directory for me and it's going to save all my stuff now let's pretend that we're all finished for the day and we want to go back and find our stuff. All right, I want to go File, and then we say Close a Solution, <clears throat> and let's say that I want to come back and uh, open it up. I'm going to say Open Project, and I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to go to Drive D, and you remember I made a little folder for VB105 projects. Here it is. I'm going to open it up <coughs> right here and inside here I want to show you this inside here when I click this you're gonna see a file it has a little logo on it can you see that and it has an 8 on it that means it's Visual Studio version 8 which is the same as 2005 but you see the file that has an SLN file extension has .lsn that's the one that you can double click and it'll bring up all your stuff and bring it into Visual Studio I'm gonna do that again because this is where people get all messed up. If I go open project and I navigate to my thing here, you're going to see there's a new folder called Intro to Programming. Now watch. If I double click, it comes up with a solution file. Here's what I don't want you to do. Don't double click it and bring it in here and you'll find all kinds of things in here. This will get you messed up if you try to open it from there. Okay. But if you double click on the one that says SLN, double click it and bring it up, you'll have your stuff. Now very often, especially at school, people mess with the computers or they've been doing things to them and, you, and you're going to come up with a situation like this. You say, Ron, I just loaded it but I can't see my stuff. This happens all the time. Let me show you the trick. Up here, there's a little icon and if you put your mouse over it, it says Solution Explorer. If I click on it, it brings up our window and then over here where it says Form 1, that was the first form that was loaded in my application. Now watch, I'm just going to double click it and there's my form back. 
Okay? So don't have a heart attack. You can have anxiety attacks about this sometimes. People say, ha, ah, I spent five hours on this and now I can't find it. That's what happens. Let me show you another way. You load all your stuff and you can't see it. You can always go to the View menu and go to Server Explorer. That's the same thing. And when it brings up Server Ex I'm sorry, I want to bring up uh, Solution Explorer. I picked the wrong one. If you bring up Solution Explorer, you'll see over here, there's your form. Now sometimes you're going to have projects that have more than one form, and you can just click on the one that you want to work on. If I double click on it, it brings it all up here. Okay? So that's the, the main thing I wanted to show you with this uh, uh, first video was to how to open a new project and then um, save it. I also want to just give you a real quick view of some of the things you can do here. You can look, of course, at any recent files or projects that you've been working on. This is just like Microsoft Office where you can save yourself a little bit of time. Uh, this is the one that you're going to use all the time, Closed Solution. Microsoft refers to our project as Solutions. That's all. That's what. That's why this is over here. And um, you can uh, open websites, and of course, and, but we're not going to do that here. You have an edit menu, which has not very nice uh, find, searching, replacing kinds of capabilities that, you, that you're used to in Office. In the view menu, you just have a lot of different things that you can look at, and we'll work on those later. Uh, one of those in the next video I'll show you is the toolbox. The project window I don't use very much. The build menu, the build menu is used when we actually want to run our program, and I'll show you that when we when, in the next video when we do some things. The, the debug and the data menu are going to be used for advanced things, so we're not going to look at that in, in this class really. In the format menu, I have some cool things I want to show you in that uh, when we put some controls on the form, and also. Uh, it has a nice uh, tools option here with some options down at the bottom where you can actually set the colors of your desktop and you can change the fonts and all that kind of cool stuff. So I'll, I'll give you a little quick tour of that. This one just allows you to open and close a lot of windows and move things around. I don't use that very often. And then they, on the new version, they have a thing called Community, where you can actually ask a question. You can uh, post questions on the internet. You can search for things. Uh, they have connected with some companies called CodeZone and some other things, and you can you can search if you're looking for help. And then it has just the general help system, and uh, I'll show you uh, how to use that a little bit as we start building a, a project. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here, and then if you look at the next video, we'll pick up from here and we'll learn how to actually make these programs do something. Thank you.